Hey, welcome to Transforming Writing at ISTE Live. I am Scott Padway, a tech integration specialist and teacher in Pleasanton, California. And today we are going to look at transforming writing with video. Now it is 2020 and we are all video makers. iMovie's been out since 1999, YouTube since about 2005, and all sorts of apps like TikTok, which has been out since 2016, keep being created. We are all consumers of video and we are going to be creators of multimedia content as well. So I want to share some very easy steps to begin introducing the concept of video making as a core component of your class. And it really involves three very simple steps. Number one, writing, two, recording, and three, creating. So let's talk about number one, writing. This is your academic writing. And obviously videos are way more fun when you can be creative. However, they can be just as impactful, even more so with some of our strong academic writing. All movies start with a script. And now we're not making a movie, so we don't really need a formal script, but we are making a video nonetheless. And that writing will serve as that guide and set the focus for us. Step number two, this is the recording. This is actually speaking and listening in disguise. It's an opportunity for students to practice language skills. And one of the beauties of remote learning is that they can now do this in the privacy of their own home. So for many students, performing writing isn't something that they're necessarily comfortable with in a class, even though one of my favorite things is to see all the students up there on their Chromebooks speaking into the microphone uh, quietly. But now they have a quiet place. And this definitely improves that opportunity for them to practice their speaking skills. Now, step number three, this is the creating. This is where the transformation happens. Many people start making a video project here. And what happens is you can get lost. But if you work backwards and you start with the writing and work on recording and then just simply find visual clips that work with your words, but take your words kind of off the page and really add to your arguments and your narratives, um, you can really create something powerful. And by separating the audio and visuals and not trying to record live audio, you can simplify many of the challenging tasks video makers face. In fact, you could just use a still image and you could put your words behind it and you could feel the power. This is the step for the final draft. Okay, so once you're done with your final draft, transforming writing into video can bring it to life in new ways and give students practice at performing their work. There's a lot of tools out there. Things like Screencastify, Loom, Powtoons, WeVideo, Adobe Spark, all are web-based, all work with Chromebooks and all create opportunities for students to practice speaking and listening. Again, something as simple as screencasting a narrative behind an image is still powerful. However, I'm very fortunate our district has a license for Wave Video and I'm a huge fan because of the library of preloaded content that exists. Students don't need to go make video clips of rockets or geographic landscapes. Wave Video has a whole archive of footage that they can use to make their words come to life. Again, allowing them to focus on the writing and the recording and then makes the creating so much easier. Now I want you to take a look at my screen over here, okay? And see how easy it is to transform writing. And you notice I start with a script, I'll use the record button, and then boom, create. Watching students use their words to create engaging media presentations is like watching magic happen. By adding visuals, titles, and music, students can convey information in a much more powerful and engaging way than through text alone. The emphasis really is in the student words, but by using their voice, they can transform their projects. In order to help create opportunities for students to engage in video making, in 2015, we started a student film festival in Pleasanton. The goal was not to find our most talented student in video production, but rather create opportunities for all students to make videos and media. Every year, our film festival gets better and better. We've had submissions from students in K-12 in categories from animation to documentaries to narratives to music videos. We take pretty much everything. Now in person, we've always held the event at a local theater, but last year we went digital. So we premiered two different events on YouTube, a K-5 and a 612. I've got all sorts of resources and ideas about starting your own film festival on our poster, which is a great segue to saying you should come back and check it out. And if you want to come say hi, I'll be there. Thank you for your time. And I hope you have a fantastic day and a great ISTE.